Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. The jump draw shot is without doubt the hardest jump shot on a pool table. Pool fans, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you two little tips to work on to start improving that shot. First things first, before we get into the lesson, you're going to need a good quality jump cue. In today's era of jump cues and the game of pool, the jump cues on the market these days are so much better than they was years ago. They almost do the work for you, but you still need to have an idea of what you're doing and obviously have the technique, but you need a good quality jump cue. In today's video, I'm going to be using the new Predator Air Rush. There's a lot of brands on the market. They're all as good as each other. It's kind of what you prefer over the other, but I'm going to be using the Predator Air Rush. Let's just look at a normal jump shot. So this is a relatively easy jump shot. And let's just say we need to stop the cue ball dead. So after potting the blue two, the cue ball is going to pretty much stop in that area. So let me just line it up and play the shot. We're going to be aiming centre-ish of the cue ball. And now you can see the cue ball pretty much stops in that area. That is because we're hitting roughly around the centre of the cue ball. They could see with our super sexy slow-mo, I was hitting around the centre of the cue ball. That causes the cue ball to stop dead. But we want to draw the cue ball back. Now, depending on what shot you face with will depend on how good you need to hit the shot. But let's just work on getting the cue ball back. Two things you need to work on. The first thing, you need to aim lower on the cue ball, which is very difficult because... When you're queuing down on it to play the jump shot, it's very easy to miss cue. So for instance, like this. Or you could aim that low, you end up scooping the cue ball over, which is illegal. So that's a little something like this. Don't be a scooper pooper and hit too low on the cue ball. Did I just say scooper pooper? They're the two things that can happen if you're aiming too low on the cue ball. Here's a little diagram of roughly where we need to be hitting. Let me have a go at this draw shot, aiming where I've just shown you in the diagram. There you can see, I didn't pop the ball, but the main thing is I've got the cue ball moving back. That's because I know where to aim on the cue ball and I know how to execute the shot. That's what you guys need to practice. That's the first thing. Let me show you in slow-mo where I'm aiming, and then we'll come on to tip number two. There you could see on the slow-mo, I was aiming a little bit lower. Again, not too low. You will know when you practice this, the lower you go, you're going to start miscuing or scooping the cue ball. So it's just a little lower than centre. That's where you roughly should be aiming to draw the cue ball back. Second tip, this is the most important tip. It's all about your wrist, your back arm. When playing a normal jump shot, you're probably just pushing through the cue like so. There's not a lot of wrist action and you're just controlling the cue ball. You need to get this wrist moving, get the cue through quicker. It's a little bit more jabby, if that makes sense. So a normal jump shot, you just cue it. The cue ball flies over the object ball now with these more modern jump cues anyway. Drawing back, you need to be a bit quicker on the wrist. Let me show you in slow mo.
the slow-mo tells a story. If you look at both slow-mo, so here's the first slow-mo, you can see my wrist is just going through nice and easy, hitting center-ish of the cue ball. That will cause the cue ball to stop around that area. And the second slow-mo, here you go, you can see the wrist, you can see how jabby it is, but it's getting the cue through quicker. That enables the spin to stay longer on the cue ball, which will cause the cue ball to draw back. The slow-mo tells a story, guys. They're the two things you need to be working on to start drawing the cue ball back on a jump shot. Now, I know what you're thinking, it can't be that simple. Pool fans, we are not sending a rocket to the moon. This is pool, it's not that difficult. Granted, I've been playing pool a long time. A lot of effort has gone into fine tuning a pool player's pool game, certainly a professional's. It's how much time you want to put into your pool game. Jump shot with a draw is very nice to watch. If you start doing that on your league night, your opponents, your teammates, they will be a little bit jealous, trust me. It's a great shot. It doesn't come up that often, but when it does, you can do things like this. And one day you might be able to do it on TV yourself. Two simple things to start working on. Just throw the balls on the table. Don't worry about potting the ball. It's about the feel of them two little things. Aim a little bit lower, just below centre. And get that wrist moving through quicker and a little bit more jabby. I promise you guys, the more effort you put into this, you will see results. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We've hit over 10,000 subscribers now. Thanks for that. As always, hit the bell, hit the like so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you in the next one very soon.